Ronald, first of all, following that incredible result against Sunderland last week, what has the, the reaction been like among your group and among the coaches this week? No, the reaction was, uh, was very positive. Of course, uh, you have to enjoy uh, a result like that. It isn't a normal one because uh, what I said uh, after the game, that's not uh, the difference between uh, our team and uh, our opponent uh, last week and uh, Sunderland. But OK, we did, uh, we did it very well. We, we had a great spirit till the, the last second of the game and uh, we enjoy it. But uh, after the moment when we start uh, this week, the training session, and that was uh, Wednesday, uh, everybody back uh, in normal life and then prepare ourselves in the best way uh, for Stoke uh, this weekend. We've spoken to a number of players immediately after the game and across the course of this week and they've seemed extremely professional and, and some of them have said they've not even really talked about the result against Sunderland. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. I think and that has to be a professional way. OK, one side you can enjoy it, we did that and then, and, and OK. It's only one game, it's only one result and we like to continue and uh, to continue like that, you have to work hard, we, are not, we know that. And the fans would be surprised to hear a lot of the players saying that they weren't particularly happy with the, the first 20, 25 minutes, which is something you said yourself as well. Yeah, that's true, because uh, we didn't start well. Uh, I prefer to start on a much, much better way uh, when we play at home. We like to be uh, the dominated team, but, but uh, in the first 20 minutes, uh, Sunderland was uh, the dominated team. They didn't create a lot of uh, good opportunities, but, but the feeling was not good and uh, we spoke about it. Uh, we we made 10-11 um, minutes uh, video about the first 20 minutes and okay, and then, then much better talking about that because uh, then players see the, the video and they understand uh, some critics uh, about that. There's certainly been a lot of talk about though about the result, about Southampton as a team. It seems like a result that's captured a lot of attention among the, the rest of the football in public. Is it important for you as the manager to, to try and stop your players listening to that and to, to make sure people don't pay too much attention to that kind of praise? Yes, of course, because uh, we have to know that, that uh, next Saturday, this Saturday against Stoke, you start uh, by zero and uh, you don't get more points about uh, the last result. And, uh, and the players know that and uh, it's a good spirit in the team and, and um, we like to continue and the players know if we continue like that they, they have to do maybe still more in, in training session to keep the spirit. As you said, Stoke this weekend, the first of three games in eight days I think it is and, and two against Stoke, one at home, one away in the cup next Wednesday. How do you deal with that as a manager playing the same team twice in, in such quick succession? Yeah, on one side it's easy because you, you, say, you say always the first is the most important. But we like to continue in the League Cup uh, as well. But, but it's a little bit strange feeling uh, play two times against the same opponent in three days. But, but OK, uh, it was the draw and we have to accept. But this Saturday uh, is the most important one. And uh, OK, and after Saturday... We have to time to think uh, out uh, of, of Wednesday. And Stoke themselves, slightly unpredictable, I think, this season. They're, there's no real pattern to their results or anything like that, and they're sitting right in the middle of the table at the moment. So how do you assess them? Yeah, a, a difficult side, uh, a strong defence, uh, physical players uh, in midfield, uh, some good players, some good, uh, good attackers, crowds. It's... Uh, it's an experienced one in front of them and, and, and they can play the long ball, they can play the second ball, crosses, set pieces. A lot of things uh, and reasons to be uh, very to have a good attention about that. In terms of your team, any changes expected from last week or are you picking from generally the same group? No, it will be uh, the same group. Uh, nobody is, is back uh, about the injuries and, and, and nobody is injured in this week. And, uh, if there happened uh, nothing tomorrow in our last training session, then, then normally it will be the same uh, squad for this Saturday. We're scored by number 10, Sadio Mane!